Okay, uh, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, it's been a while since we were last in here. Um, summer's just about over now. It's a miserable day out there. It's blowing a force nine gale and it's heaving it down with rain. Yeah, well, which is why I'm in here instead of riding my bike. Um, okay, so the last time I did a video, I mentioned uh, this little doohickey here. This little puzzle thingy out of aluminium. And I said I'd show you all how to make it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let me just pop that over there. And so we're going to take this billet of aluminium and turn it into that. Um, and this is more or less how we're going to okay, do it. Okay, so as usual, what first thing we have to do uh, when we get a bit of steel is we have to face it off, because this has come off the hacksaw looking a bit rough. Uh, so we're going to face it off, and we've got to send it to drill it. Uh, I've already marked it out, I don't know if you can see that. I've already marked it out uh, as how far, uh, how much we need. It's only a, uh, what, the remnant of a large piece of stock that I've got left. And a little bit at the end there, will all get uh, turned into washers or spacers or something very similar, so it won't get wasted. So, um, so we're going to use that. So first thing to do, chuck it up, face it off. Centre drill it, and then we can take it from there. Okay, right. Uh, I've marked it off now. Uh, the blue is where I want to remove metal, and we've got to get the blue bits down to um, not about eight mil. Yeah, you can see that about eight point one, eight millimeters, um, leaving a uh, a five mil ring in the middle. Yeah, the secret's coming out now, isn't it, eh? <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. So, we're going to remove the metal here, the metal there, <coughs> and then we're going to uh, profile that down um, until it's as thick as we want it, and then we're going to work it from there. Okay. <laughs> So one end done, and we're down to about 10 millimetres. Uh, we're leaving a bit of fat on there because uh, we shall slim that down even more very shortly. Um, I want to do this end now and get it uh, get it somewhere close at the more or less equal. Well, that's got both of them down to uh, down to the same size, about uh, about 9.3. Now we're going to take them just a little bit more, and um, we'll uh, we'll then start then to to profile the uh, the centre portion. Right, so needs to come down a little bit more. Not much, just a little. Okay, there we go. That's uh, that end. I'm that now trimmed down, and we're now going to focus on this little bit in the middle. So once again, I'm going to uh, turn the tools around. <coughs> Want this one first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is yeah, I'm going to square that off, a little bit of facing off, just to thin it off slightly and get rid of the profiling in the middle because I want that nice and flat so I don't get in there with another tool okay. so we'll okie dokie right back again right so what we're going to do this time right we're now going to we squared this off and I'm going to undercut in there. Right. And what we're going to use right, is this. It's a, mod it's a scribe the top modified. Yeah. If you like, 
as um, into a, well, I suppose a, a hand-held turning tool. Uh, the kind of thing I suppose woodworkers are very used to, but uh, you don't do a lot of um, handwork in, in, well, not not that I've seen anyway in turning. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to use it just to, if you like, sort of chisel away, pick away, yeah, while it's while it's turning round. Um, it's a bit time consuming and a bit fiddly, so I possibly won't show show all of what I'm doing. Looking for a cloth, he says. There we go. Right. Okay. So the idea is, it's going to be turning round. And I'm going to be in there picking that off. Give myself a little bit of support. Yeah. And that's going to be in there, if you like. Something like that. Okay. Okay. As you can see now, um, we've got the bit loose in the middle. Um, and now we've got to clean the centre shaft up. And then we clean that little bit up. So bit more turning this is why we left the shaft slightly oversized so we can turn it down to get rid of all the all the gouge marks okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not worried too much about the ring getting in the way down okay so the way I'm going to clean up, let's move this back, where I'm going to clean up this end is um, I'm going to zero the, uh, the cross slide, wind it out, move that ring up and um, I'll wind it back down again. So we'll do that now. I've centered the cross slide, in fact while I was talking to you, but I can multitask like that sometimes you see. And that should get us back to where we want to be. We'll go back up here. What's left now is to um, part that off, polish all this lot up, and um, and it'll look quite nice when it's finished. The difficult bit, of course, is polishing the middle bit. Job now uh, is parted off. I've got the parting off tool set up. Uh, we do we're running quite close to the chuck because um, because of the amount of metal we've got left, but it should do the business. Um, a lot of my students quite worried when they're working close to a chuck because of uh, some of the uh, in um, some of the health and safety training I give them um, to, uh, to point out the fact that um, if you get tangled up in this it's uh, it's going to do you a lot of damage so one or two of them rightly so are somewhat um, somewhat concerned when they get the fingers a bit close to this or when the tooling gets a bit close to that um, but I say not to worry as long as you respect the machine, it won't hurt you. If um, if you just treat it like a piece of old tap, like uh, people usually do these days, then uh, you're going to get it wrong, and um, something's going to break and head in your direction to do you some damage, or you're going to get yourself caught up in there and once again do some damage, possibly put yourself in hospital, maybe even kill yourself, because. Um, Rotating machinery bites if you neglect it. Um, there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube to uh, 
to uh, to show you what I mean, um, or if if you want more information, um, and also your experienced engineers who are watching this will uh, will know because you've possibly seen it in action, you've either done it to yourself, or uh, you've possibly seen someone who's been on the receiving end of all this kind of thing. Um, right, slight digression there, so we'll get on now and we'll just part this off. feeling a little on the warm side there we go that's that parted off um, all we've got to do now is just uh, clean that end off of course polish it so up. here's how we're gonna clean up the center bit yeah there's some uh, double-sided tape on the shaft and uh, some I've got some 400 grit on here now um, and so it's just a case of yeah the tapes just there to hold the grit into place and we just um, rotate this and it just, just cleans up the inside and then we'll use a, a finer grit a bit later on and, uh, but it does take time cleaning these up yeah, it's not like the uh, like the captive nut puzzle that I've done where uh, because you're making it in separate parts it's very easy to uh, to polish it and keep it uh, all looking quite nice. This one, the uh, the centre, the centre ring, if you like, does. By the time you've finished, it does look a bit battered and uh, a little worse for wear. But anyway, so, uh, it looks like it's coming up. One thing about this job, you're not going to be afraid of getting your fingers dirty. Oh, come here, you. That's it. Notice I didn't go and collect that, I waited for it to come back to me. Even I don't want my fingers tangled up in that chuck. I've had a bash on the knuckles before, and that was. Uh, brought me out in a nasty bruise. Oh, that's looking better. Okay, here we go. Um, we've done it now. This is uh, this is the one we've made today. This little doozy, and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, this is the one we made, one I made a while ago, but this is the one I've made with you guys today. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, oh God, that's done do a world of good, wouldn't it? Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make this, and I hope you've all learnt something. Um, it's great fun. Um, but uh, you do need to uh, know what you're doing because, uh, well, you can make a hash of it otherwise. Um, I was talking. I like making these. It's it's, it's therapeutic. Yeah. Um, like I say, on a wet Sunday, you're nothing better than coming in a workshop, putting a bit of metal in a lathe, and turning it into swarf. Yeah. Hours of amusement. Well, that's it for now. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, please feel free to leave comments in the in the comment section, and uh, and of course, um, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. <laughs>